Now, how do you fix Valorant freezing? If you want to fix the freezing happening in game in Valorant, then here are a few solutions for you. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the performance mode. So what you first need to do is search for right client. Do you, you have right client right here and then click on open file location. Now, once again, right click on it and click on open file location. Now you're going to copy this file path. You can do this by clicking above right here and then pressing Ctrl C to copy it. You can also do it by hand, but copying it is easier. Now we're going to search for graphic settings. Search for graphic settings, open this up and here you'll see all the high performance things that you have installed so what you're going to do is you're going to click on browse and then you're going to add your app now in order to add your Ryan client you're going to click right here then delete all of this and then press ctrl v now press enter and you should be at the right page if this doesn't work for you you can always go to this pc and then find it manually just make sure that you match this path click on right client and then click on add now right client is added and you need to click on options click on high performance mode and then click on save now you can close this down and also close this down. Now let's say this didn't work, then we can try another thing. Left click to search on your windows and here search for performance of windows. And you should see adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Open this up and then here choose adjust for best performance. Then click on apply and then click on OK. Now close this down. And the last thing that you could try is to update your drivers. You can do this by here searching for device manager opening it up then go to display adapters and when you click on the drop down menu you will see all your graphic cards so this is your graphic tar card and you need to right click on it and click on update driver search automatically for drivers and then it should say the best drivers are installed otherwise update it and the problem should be fixed i hope this fixed your problem and i would say thank you for watching